Hi, two weeks ago I recorded a video on what you need to know about October and November of 2022 to get through them. Today I would like to add something new and dive a little bit deeper. So, I would say buckle up because you may or may not like what I'm going to say but it's not all bad, but it's also not all smooth and easy. It's somewhere in between. But if you pay attention to what I'm going to say, and you probably already know certain of these things, but you need to be really aware of them. And if you, you do this, you will know how to navigate these times and it will be much easier for you than for those who do not know, for those who do not pay attention. So, here's your chance. Like, subscribe, and share. Before I dive in deeper, I would like to remind you that if you feel the need to work on your inner peace, on your inner calm, to learn new techniques, to ground, then contact me. I can teach you that. I've been teaching many people this and their lives have changed. They have changed themselves. They became more calm, more peaceful. And even in difficult situations, things are going better for them. So just click the link in the description, contact me or send me a direct message and we can work together. If you have been following me for a while, then you already know that we're in a big change. A change that takes decades. And technically, the world is always changing. Only now, we notice it more because things are going faster. Like I said previously, in 2012, end of 2012, our solar system, maybe even our whole galaxy, entered a new part in space where the vibration is higher. Higher frequency means everything goes faster. That's why changes are happening much faster today than they used to happen back in the 1990s, 80s, 70s, 60s. Although there have been moments of rapid change, or at least there seem to be moments of rapid change because certain events happened, there were like eruptions. But the true changes took time. Sexual emancipation well, it was the 60s, a little bit of the 70s, but it took a while before real changes started to appear throughout society, everywhere, not just in a few little parts of the world. And even technological changes, we see things accelerating. Political changes, we also see those accelerating whether it's into the good or into the bad. And we see actually both happening at the same time. We see much more polarity. And there has always been polarity, but polarity now is more intense and is appearing everywhere, but really fast. And then transformation is happening within many people. Many people start to see that whether you look at the right or the left, It's the same. They're connected. They're not separate. People on the right and on the left in politics, if you check the history, they're friends. Maybe even related. So what does it tell you? There is no light without darkness. There's no darkness without light. If you look at the human body, 
many parts of us have a left and a right side, a masculine and a feminine, a good and a bad side. I mean, those are more energetic, but get the point. And if you pay attention, you see that the changes that are happening do not always make total sense. It's not what we expected. Unless you've had a very open mind and you have been seeing the dynamics between people, between societies, between cultures, between political parts, ge um, geopolitical tensions, how things are moving, then you can predict what's happening. But what does it mean for us, for you and me? This period is going to be a period of a lot of uncertainty. What does that mean, uncertainty? What do I mean by it? It means that things are not so predictable anymore, not according to the past. So a computer cannot predict what will happen. The mind cannot predict what will happen. Because they both look at the past and build upon that. Ah. For, for what, forever, if this would happen, then that would be the result. Well, that would come after. <clears throat> if you would do this, then that would result in this and this, and then you would have that. Has always been like that. No, that's not true. People say always, it's just as much as they can remember, or as far as the history books go. And even there, most people don't even pay attention to history. So they cannot see, they don't even notice that history is repeating itself. Maybe not literally, but in big lines. So many things that have been happening in the past few decades, smart people knew it would happen. Other people were like, oh, how does this happen? Yeah. You know RTFM, read the fucking manual? Well, in this case, read the fucking history books. Look at archaeology. When you pay attention to archaeology, you will see that all cultures are connected somehow. That we are not separate. So fighting others for being different is bullshit. Because according to them, we are different from them. So why should we, we be mad at them for being different from us? And we're seeing so much polarity now happening in society, even within the smallest groups, like families, we see polarity, we see conflict, we see people taking sides. But this is just a phase. And what's really coming is uncertainty, is unknown. Even those who predict, who say they can see the future. What we see is either big lines or a possible future. But because things are moving so fast, a very small deviation will result in a completely different future. It's like when you're driving slow, you can turn your wheel like that and you will make a nice curve, 90 degree curve, you can park your car. If you're driving fast and you do a little bit like that, you're already off the road. And that's where we are now, we're driving fast. And we're still accelerating, we're not slowing down. We will not be slowing down for another 5,000 years, six. Maybe because there's a cycle of eleven and a half thousand years. And so it's going up, accelerating and then decelerating again. We're just at the beginning here. We just pass this point where we start to see to see more light coming in. 
you just came out of the darkness. But then in this phase where we're just entering to the light, there's still a lot of light. I mean, there's still a lot of darkness there and there's more light coming. So, do you switch off your lights when you're driving or do you put on your sunglasses already? Or maybe both? Because the sun is coming up, so you need to put your sunglasses because we'll blind you, but at the same time you need to still be invisible because it's still not light enough, so you need to keep your, your headlights on. You see where I'm going? And you do not know exactly what's ahead of you because you cannot see. But you're driving fast. So what to do? To pay more attention, of course. But also, you need to feel. Because your intuition will tell you when you need to slow down or when it's safe to go. An ex of mine would drive sometimes really fast on roads and I didn't feel safe. Because there were roads with two lines, one line going each direction, and there were many curves. And you would not know what would be after that curve. Maybe there was a car standing still. But then somehow she knew, she felt. And had to learn to trust that. And certain moments, like, okay, I really want you to slow down now. And then she slowed down, and around that curve, cars were standing still. At that moment, I felt strongly like, okay, now is the moment to speak. And maybe she would have slowed down as well. I do not know. I was not in her mind, and I didn't ask her. At that moment, I was just happy that, wow, we were lucky. So what you need to do is to stay connected, to stay grounded, to work on your inner peace because it's consuming a lot of energy. So you will need to sleep maybe more. I've been sleeping much more for the past few months now. I used to be able to sleep six hours, or five hours, I could get through the day, six hours would be fine. And if I would have one or two nights of five hours, I would recover during the weekend, catch up a bit. Now I need eight hours, less than eight hours, I start to feel it. Catching up in the weekend, it's not helping that much. In the weekend I've been having nights of 10, 12, 13 hours. Do I look very fit now? No. So, because of the frequency rising, our bodies also need to adapt. So aside from not knowing what's going to come, aside from having to deal with a lot of unexpected things, with new things, new situations, maybe it's the same things, but they just come in a different order. Things seem to be illogical, but yet you can feel there is some kind of logic, but it's a new logic. So grounding and staying connected with yourself, working on your inner peace, resting, staying hydrated, drinking plenty of water is very important. This is needed to navigate these strange times. And this period of change is not ending. It's not just November 2022. 2023 will be a challenging year for those who are not fully connected here. Some are talking about 2024, you will start to see true change and talk about it very happily. It doesn't mean that 2024 will be a year of bliss and happiness and joy and everything is perfect and the world has completely changed. No. But if we're doing the work on ourselves, it will get a little bit easier, a little bit more, a little bit more. The more we do it, the smoother things will start to go for us, those who work on ourselves. And for others, the world is just going to shit. But the more we work on ourselves, the more we can adapt 
faster and faster and faster to all the changes that are happening. And so we start to ride the wave. Because there is a wave. There's a very strong current. And those who don't like change try to fight the current, try to swim against the current. But this current is very strong, it's only getting stronger. And what happens at the moment is that it, it takes you over. And many will drown in it. Many will get underwater and some of may come back up. But the more you keep fighting, the more exhausted you get. And you will drown. But if, like I said, you focus on yourself, you will be able to ride that wave. And a change is happening faster and faster for you. But if you're opening to the new possibilities, if you're trying to hold on to the old, then you can have a beautiful journey. At least a very interesting journey. With much less pain, frustration, hard times than those who fight it. So if you need support, if you need help to ground, to learn how to ground, to learn how to adapt to all these changes, to learn how to find your inner peace, then please contact me. If many of you con will contact me, I will organize a workshop. If it's just one or two, I can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I can teach you these things. If you pay attention, you will have seen that only many people have had very hard times. And you have seen throughout the months and even throughout the years that I'm quite calm. Maybe you even sense that I'm even calmer than last year and the year before that. Although things didn't improve much. That's because I've been working on myself more and more. And those who have been working with me also started to experience things in a different way. And as I always say, asking for help is a smart thing to do. Believing that you can do everything by yourself is the stupid thing to do. Two smart people, they ask for help. Also the courage, the courageous people ask for help. So be strong, be smart, be courageous. Ask for help and make your life go much smoother. Hope to see you soon. I wish you a beautiful day. Like, subscribe and share.